A suspected burglar calls Westland police, hoping they'd give her a ride and take along the stuff she'd allegedly stolen. K2's Bob High joins us live outside the Westland Police Department. So, Bob, the suspect had a pretty good story when she called asking police for help. Yeah, Deb, she said that uh, she'd been kicked out by her boyfriend, that everything she had was in six decimal bags she had with her. There was only one problem. Everything she had with her belonged to somebody else. It seems shocking. You know, uh, it, it, for, you know, it's a new definition of chutzpah, I think. In 25 years of police work, Sergeant Neil Henley had never heard anything like he did from 28-year-old Zanish Fraser Tuesday. She was waiting at this Westland Park. She wanted police to give her a ride because she couldn't carry all her stuff. A collection of dresses, electronics, also a couple of laptop computers, all in half a dozen duffel bags. The story might have worked, except police double-checked who Frazier was. They found out she was wanted for a probation violation. She was a desperate person to get out of the neighborhood and, and uh, thought this was a way she could kind of snowball us on this, I think. Police did give Frazier a ride to jail, but all that stuff couldn't go with her. We're going to bring it to the police station for safekeeping. Um, in the interim, while she's got on her way to jail, we get a, a burglary call a block away from where we are right now. That call came from Dane and Caitlin's home. They asked that we not use their last name. She obviously, you know, called the cops on her own, and we couldn't be more lucky. That she did that. Especially since anyone could have stolen information off those laptops. Some of the items also came from a car break in down the block from their home earlier in the day. All recovered after the alleged thief called the cops to give her and the stolen stuff a ride. We're just lucky that uh, what happened and we got the, the dumbest smart criminal around. <laughs> In the meantime, that suspect's been transferred now from the Clackamas County Jail to the Washington County Jail to answer that theft probation violation charge. And now she also faces theft charges here in Clackamas County, too. Live in Westland, Bob High, K2 News.